and struck, where you have balls, and it is macho and real, and it's war, and it's real, and it's heavy duty, high quality. AM General, not GM. Just thought I'd show you this Johnny Lightning vehicle. You have to have a very intense intro for that. Real rubber tires. Real quality construction. Oh, look here. We got ourselves a T3, boys. You see this little sorry-ass T3 car? Boom, 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 Yeah, it hit the floor now. The H1 destroyed the THC3 or whatever the other Hummer was, the girly man Hummer, because it's not the Arnold Schwarzenegger macho man Hummer. But really, this is a legitimate Hummer. This is a real thing. It looks like a war machine and it just looks really badass. I mean, yeah, it's horrible mileage and yeah, it's a tank, but it's not a GMC or GM vehicle that has more aggressive uh, display on it. This is this is the real deal. It just just pretty sweet. This is probably it's my favorite Hummer. The rest of my Hummers, I would be willing to sell off if the price is right, but this is the one I would want to keep. Because those are just kind of symbols and badges of bygone eras and bad choices of those eras. Not saying if somebody bought one, it's a bad choice. I've interacted with a lot of guys that own them and they're cool. I'm just saying for me, I don't want them really in my collection that much. Plus, I'd be willing to sell them for a premium. You could have one of the Dicastinators Premium, formerly used, die-cast cars. Quite a market for that. Anyhow, like, subscribe, and enjoy, and have a great day.